How you doing? Brian from Garage Mahal. Today we are working on a 2011 Chevy Equinox. <clears throat> Already got it up in the air and the unique problem that they ran across is that their oxygen sensor was showing that it was bad. So before I explain this, if you take a look up there, customer tried taking the oxygen sensor out themselves and they pretty much destroyed anything that you'd be able to put a, a wrench on. And as you can tell, there's no room to really get anything on there to get that off. So instead of cutting it out or trying to drill, which would have been another, you know, impossible thing, there's just not enough clearance, even though it looks like it, there's just not enough clearance over there. So the solution is I drilled a hole through that. Actually, I used a... Uh, air hammer pointed air hammer pushed that through that that bit and then I used a, a Dremel tool with a I think that's a sharpening stone on it but just to kind of bore the hole bigger and to make sure that I had any little residual pieces hanging out from there and then what I did is I went to Lowe's and I got a three-quarter inch nut and we are gonna weld that to there and basically making a new socket for the oxygen sensor to fit into. And as you can tell, it's kind of tight on the thread, but it'll sit there, weld, and it'll have a new place for the, the O2 sensor to actually work. But anyway, I'll keep you posted and I'll show you the end product after I put a couple tack welds on that. And then we go from there. All right, so that is the bolt welded on. I know, not the prettiest of welds, but it is solid, it doesn't leak. And we moved it from up there to down here, a more accessible place. And uh, instead of trying to fight and bust your knuckles all up trying to Trying to move it from up there. Just transfer it a couple inches away and we're good to go. Anyway, hopefully that's helpful and gives you guys a little out of the box thinking on how to fix a O2 sensor that, I'm trying to get some light in here, an O2 sensor that is seemingly impossible to, to get or replace. So simply, make a new hole, make a new home for it. Anyway, there you go. Thanks for liking and subscribing. As always, Brian from Grouch Mahal. Have a great day.